I once read a list of low-stress jobs. It didn't include police work. Obviously, this guy hadn't read the same list. Excuse me, officer. What do you know about the Knights Templar? They don't play. Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, this side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun. The architecture and the so so Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is it? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh! Is that all you can say? Oh! I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac. But it didn't seem polite. Do you know what this is? Aha! You Americans with your notorious nose candy. I read Hollywood Wives. I know all about it. If you tried to sniff this stuff, you'd wall up your nostrils. It's plaster of Paris. It is? Thank heaven. For one awful moment, I thought I might actually have to arrest somebody. Hello, the paperwork. You have no idea. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Aha! A prosthetic nose. Very significant. It is? No. I am just having a little joke. <laughs> what do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Delightful. Would you like to see some of my used tissues? Hell no. Then please put yours away. Would you like to shake? I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. They'd rebuild the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. Do you know what this is? It's a sewer key. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The pattern looks Middle Eastern. Take a look at this. Ah, an electrician. What do you think of this? A blood pressure sleeve. Look at this gem. What do you think? Cut glass. No, it's not. It's for real. What kind of madman would go around waving a priceless gem under people's noses? So either it's glass or I'm mad? I didn't like to think about that for too long. What do you know about medieval ironmongery? Have a look at this little baby. A tripod. What is it for? You mean you don't know? No, monsieur. Nor do you, I think. I'll see you around. Oui, monsieur. There was a small crowd of five sightseers. It's a weird thing, but you can take the most intelligent people in the world, put them in their vacation duds, and hey presto, they look like morons. Why is that? I had no desire to talk to the crowd. The juggler was good. Why he couldn't put that kind of application into getting a real job, I had no idea. Maybe he just liked dressing up like a horse's ass. In the middle of the square was a manhole. I wondered if there might be something relevant beneath street level. Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone! Now! Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. Hey, you with the balls. We? Oui? How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No, I 
I'm a jongleur. A jongleur? What's that? Mon dieu! A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aeroballetic mysteries. In centuries past, the courts of the crowns of Europe had the jongleurs, witty erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders, plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does not, does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better. No, I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? A lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Hi again. We. Oui? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, the last Grandmaster, Jacques du Molay, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow, you're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Have you seen this man before? No. Does this plaster interest you? Well... Forget it. Forget that I asked. Look, a red nose. Ah, you are a clown. A clown? No. If so, you would be a much better jongleur. For a moment, an idea capered around near the spotlight of my attention, but fell down the pothole of abstraction before I could focus on it. Does this grease paint mean anything to you? A red nose, and now grease paint? You are sure you are not a clown? Well, I was distracted by the idea again. Caper, 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 plummet. No, it's gone again. It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. This gadget is a sewer key. I do not want it, thank you. Well, I'm not selling it, I just wanted your opinion. It is hardly my area of expertise. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You smoke? No, I don't. In that case, it means nothing to me. Does this lab pass mean anything to you? You work in a lab. No, try again. You steal lab passes? No. Well, not as a habit. This was a special case. What do you think of this? It is a medical device, oui? Feast your eyes on this. Incroyable! Is it real? I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. Oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it, both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Do you want it? No, thank you. I've got a medieval tripod. And my Uncle Claude has hemorrhoids. So what? Catch you later. Au revoir. Hi again. We oui? look ah. a for a moment, but catch you later. Au revoir.
row of old pews, beautifully carved and glowing with polish. I thought of all the people who must have sat here over the decades. All those Parisian derrieres, firm buttocks of the young ladies, the flabby flesh of the old men. That wasn't a pleasing image, so I went back to the young ladies. Whoa! A priest stood by the pews, energetically polishing something. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of memo, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. Have you seen this man before? No, I have never seen him before. I was in Ireland recently and I brought back this plaster. My sister brought back a shillelagh. I've got a red nose. Oui, so you have. There's grease paint on this tissue. Oui, you are correct. I thought about using the shake and shock on him, but I couldn't do that to a priest. I have here a sewer key. Ah, uh, oui? Hmm, maybe not. Hmm, maybe not. What do you think of this? A precious sleeve and valve? What should I think? Never mind. How about this for a gem? It is very beautiful, monsieur. And yet, I feel that there is an air of suffering about it. I've got a medieval tripod. Catch you later. Au revoir, miss. I didn't have time to sit around. A knight there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Well, I, but I wanted to be sure what I'd be getting out of vandalizing a church, other than deported. A statue, the staff, on the end of the staff, A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. In comparison to its neighbor, it looked pretty plain. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Somehow, it looked more modern than its neighbor.
high again. We look ah uh, no for a moment, but fell down the. Does this grease? I read you as well. I was just caper. Catch you later. All right, well, I miss you. Hello again. Hello again, monsieur. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Ah, you are a clown. Do I look like a clown? No. Although you juggle like one. Now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing. And not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Who ever heard of a plain clothes clown? He had a point. So you're saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic loon. Oui, monsieur. You have it. I'll see you around. We I'd like to have another try at juggling, please. You have gone on a crash course, perhaps? No. I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, monsieur. Okay, now for my secret weapon. The juggler was speechless with rage. You could have mistaken him for a mine. And without a word, he collected his balls and left in a fury. Hey! You forgot one of your balls! Hey! But he didn't hear. Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. There was a small crack. It's a weird thing. Put them in their They look like... In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. If I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. If the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. A weird little boat lay tied up. I guess they used it to get maintenance crews around. Either that or the Phantom of the Opera was somewhere near. On the boat was a winching machine. There were three arches, each with an inscription. The wall had flaked and anything once written on it had long since gone. There were three arches, each with an inscription. The inscription was hard to read, but I made out Templier and something about innocence. There were three arches, each with an inscription. 
My medieval French isn't much, but the few words I understood seemed to say, this is where the gallows used to stand. Maybe. The hook lay in a bed of chain. My medieval, f maybe. The door was a handsome piece of work. I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. Rats! That sounded pretty solid. Nothing hollow there. It was time for some brutal destruction. Hey, that's hollow! I'd poked a hole in an historical site. If any archaeologists came by, they'd lynch me for this. There was some sort of mechanism hidden inside the wall, with a lever in the middle of it. Here goes. The secret door had jammed. I couldn't get through that gap. There was a crack in the wall. Through it, I could see a glimmer of natural light. In the beginning was the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. Report. The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging our time is now! Good. Mademoiselle? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death. 
from their own incompetence and our machinations. Professor, where is the broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These are the Templars? Must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the Sword of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pigram. Pigram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword, manuscript or no. We have already found another element actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I feel so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princess of this world! Wow! There was a large circle marked out on the floor with a stump in the middle. Around the circle, I could see words inlaid into the stone. On the circle's circumference were the Templar seal and two Latin phrases, non omnis moriar and clarior e tenebris. I shall not die completely, the brighter from the darkness. I noticed three small notches around the edge of the stump's top. In the middle of the circle was a stump of stone a shaft of daylight from the world above, lancing down to touch it. The tripod's feet
fitted neatly into the notches on the top of the stump. The light, falling from above, struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays. And each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the left, I could read M-A-R-I-B. Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. Nico, I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knights Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. The bogus doctor was there, the guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. And how does the assassin fit into all this? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. The assassin killed him for the manuscript, to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So, how do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria. But they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod, directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M-A-R-I-B. Marib is a village in Syria. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay. What about the tripod? I'll send it back to André, anonymously. Uh, that is not a good idea. I showed you the red nose, didn't I? Yes, you did. Hmm, no way. Hmm, maybe not. This is the tool I used to get into the su- Yeah. Did I sh- Huh? Hey, Nico. Not? Do you think I should go to- Terrier is a long way, Georges. 